contact less doorbell. It's often said that necessity breeds creativity, and during a global pandemic, such words have proved truer than ever. We have realized that the common doorbell could be a potential surface transmission point for any virus. The old model of doorbell uses the typical push button we are all familiar with. This new model relies on an IR distance sensor to detect a hand or foot in front of the door. It's a tidy way to handle contactless deliveries. We imagine little touches like this may become far more common in future design as the world learns lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic. These are the components which are needed to make the contactless doorbell. 1. NPN transistor BC547 2 1 kilo ohm resistor 1 10 kilo ohm resistor 1 red LED 1 IR pair 1 buzzer 9 volt battery PP3 battery connector on off rocker switch 1 0 PCB 4 screw with nuts and four plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor to protect the LED from high current and voltage. This is the symbol of IR LED. IR LED will emit the infrared rays. This is the symbol of photodiode. When IR rays will fall on the photodiode, then photodiode will turn on and give a high signal to the base terminal of transistor. When transistor will get a high signal on its base terminal, then it will turn on. This is the symbol of a buzzer. Its positive end is connected with a positive supply, and negative end is connected with the transistor. When transistor will turn on, it will connect the negative terminal of buzzer with the ground, and buzzer will start beeping. When IR rays will not fall on the photodiode, then transistor will turn off, and buzzer will come in silent mode. These are the components which we will use to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base and for that, we will take a zero PCB and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder this IR LED. Remember that flat side is negative and round side is positive. Green sleeves are used to avoid the shorting between its two terminals.
Now solder 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. Now we will solder the photodiode. Photodiode is used in reversed bias mode. So make sure that the flat side of the LED is connected to the positive supply. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. This is a buzzer. Buzzer has two terminals, positive and negative. It has a sign of plus on its top. It shows that this side is positive, and the other side is negative. Negative terminal will be connected with the transistor, and positive terminal will be connected with the positive supply voltage. Now we will solder the transistor. This is NPN transistor, and BC547 is its model number. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base, and 3 is called emitter. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Now we will connect the 9 volt battery and test the project. This is a contactless doorbell. So when we put our finger near the IR pair, then buzzer should give a beep. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts, Regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number, 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website, www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.